the KX News Storm Team. 514 here on your Thursday morning. It is just a really, uh, I don't know if it's the same for all you folks at home, but it's a really wacky morning. It it's, is. It's yeah. really been, I don't know. So I'm just forewarning all of you. It might be that maybe it's the weather. Maybe. It's five. The weather's pretty nice. So. <laughs> five. Yeah. Well, I guess it's been a little bit wacky because we're so below average temperature wise. It, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, well, yeah. Now we're dry again. So yeah. Yeah. And we need that rain in the north. Yeah. Especially. Definitely up north, northeast. They're really dry. We've been lucky here. We actually were like last month, like the 20th wettest month and Minot was like the 12th driest. So that's just, just so wild all, all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll start this off on our KX cam overlooking a rugby right now. You got some sun, you got some clouds, clear skies, staying dry right now. Temperatures in rugby 54 degrees, got a south southwest wind at seven miles per hour and dew points right around 48 degrees. Really are gonna stay right around that point the rest of the day into the rest of the week. We'll see here in a little bit on our muggy meter what the rest of the week looks like into the weekend. Out west in Bowman, temperature sitting at 46 degrees. You got a south wind right around 11 miles per hour and those dew points also sitting at 46 degrees right now. Satellite and radar doesn't show much, if anything. Again, there maybe some light sprinkles uh, out here uh, to the east, but those will quickly dissipate. Many of us will just see sunshine through the rest of the morning and a really dry day. Temperatures right now to the south got us sitting in the 40s and the 50s already this morning as we look to the north. Really similar. Actually, maybe a little bit warmer in some locations, especially Minot right now at 58, but many in the 40s as well. Wind speeds and directions 5 to let's go 10 miles per hour from the south southwest. Winds are going to stay like this through the rest of the day and probably the rest of the week. We'll pick up once we hit probably Saturday. Wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour, but really just a calm wind wind week ahead. Uh, highs this afternoon got us sitting in the 80s up to the north. Got some upper 70s as well, but as you move to the south, mid to upper 70s become more prominent, getting closer to average in some locations, but we still really are below average everywhere. As we look at our lows tonight, another cooler one, but warmer than what we've seen the last two nights. Mid to upper 50 is going to be possible. We'll have some lower 50s. The 60 is not going to be out of uh, the question either down to the south and the southwest through the night. SPC outlook for today is showing this non severe thunderstorm threat once again for the northern portions of the state down to the south southwest. We even have this small area in the state that has this mark marginal risk. Biggest concern is going to be heavy rains with some of these storms. They're a really small chance, but they are still going to be there during the afternoon. Precision cast shows them a little bit later, but dry throughout the day. Lots of sunshine as we get into Thursday night. We start to see those storms wanting to develop up to the north and down to the far southwest. Those will move in during the night into tomorrow morning. You actually may be seeing some rain to the north northeast through the night into tomorrow morning. We'll dry off again for Friday. By about midday, we'll have another chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms. One to say most Mostly down to the southeast, but could stretch itself across much of a 94 across the state. Then we get to Saturday, another dry day with another chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms through the region through Saturday afternoon into the night. That will mostly be down to the southwest, maybe even into the south central. Your Williston five day forecast got us sitting in the 80s today, the 70s tomorrow, then back to the 80s for the weekend and Monday. Lots of sunshine. Dickinson, 70s in the next three days, then 80s for Sunday and for Monday. Look to stay dry the next five days. Again, there's still some isolated showers and thunderstorms that could appear during the night. Your mind not seven day forecast 80s today, 70s tomorrow, then back to the 80s for the weekend and the start of next week. Again, we just start to see another drier pattern uh, across much of the state. Uh, there will still be some rain chances, especially in Bismarck. We see 70s in the next three days. We'll have a rain chance Friday night into Saturday night. Even Sunday may see some light rain, but otherwise back to the 80s as we start next week. We need to get all the rain out of those two chances that we can. Looks like yeah. for a while. Exactly. Yeah, we'll have to see how the pattern shifts if we start to get more moisture. We're just pretty dry. I like that mm -hmm. dew points in the uh, 40s and 50 degree mark. That's pretty dry for what we've yeah. seen earlier in the year where we were like in the 60s and even close to 70s some days. So moisture's just not reaching us mm -hmm. as well right now. Once we start getting more of that, we'll get more rain chances. I've seriously been thinking about that because my nose has been so dry. My, yeah. it, my, yes. my kids too. And I'm like, do I need to turn the humidifier on right now in the middle of the summer? Yes. It's kind of, you know, not typical. No. All right. Thank you very much, Stone. And still to come this morning on Good Day Dakota,